When you're trying to confront a narcissist's evil, here's how you can defeat him. People who are narcissists never say sorry. They're waiting for you to feel better. When you say, I'm sorry for something, you mean it. But regret is a bad emotion that makes us feel like we caused something bad to happen. Narcissists can't take responsibility, even if they're wrong. When someone doesn't have empathy, they can easily put the blame on others and let them deal with their own bad feelings. This is because they can't understand how someone else is feeling. Since narcissists don't care about other people and purposely avoid feeling guilty, they will never say sorry in a way that means they're taking responsibility for their actions. It's not possible to beat an ego at their own game, so let's stop trying. Anyway, I'm going to show you a few safe ways to get rid of narcissists for good today. But first, thanks for watching this movie. If you could help this channel grow by sharing this movie with friends, family, or other people you care about, that would be great. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any future changes. Thank you for your help. Let's start. First things first, it doesn't work to try to change the narcissist or to encourage them to do so. Instead, work on getting better, getting better and making more friends. When we don't get help for our codependency or are just starting to heal, we might become too dependent on other people, which is very bad for us. It makes us sick to try to control things we don't have any control over, like how other people see us, what happens, and how things turn out. If that was their goal, the narcissist would have really tried to change their behavior by now. Take back control of your life by choosing to do everything you can to be the best person you can be. It doesn't matter who the narcissist is. You are the only one who can change your situation, so get to work. Your life will get better as soon as you stop focusing on the narcissist and start focusing on yourself. The best way to get rid of a narcissist is to be your best self and live your best life. 2. Taking a break from the fight The only way to win with narcissists is to stay away from them. Besides that, it's not worth the time. Why? That's because you can't win when these people are around. Leave the fights, trouble, and never-ending battle of wills, please. Give them the last word and make them think they won. If you leave, your vital life force energy and your health will be safe. You have won in both the short and long run. Don't pay attention to what poisonous people like narcissists and their friends say. Number three, it will get worse if you try to tell a narcissist what you need. Get ready because I'm going to tell you the hard truth. You should move on because the narcissist doesn't care about you. They only care about themselves. So it doesn't matter what you think, feel or need, even if it's good for you. That is the truth no matter how hard it is to believe. However you think is best, take care of yourself. Nasty people won't give you what you want. For now, don't count on other people to meet your needs. Instead, take care of yourself. Once the narcissist is gone, you'll no longer need them and will be able to be yourself again. Do this right if you want to find relationships that are healthy, loving and good for both of you. Being aware that you are no longer trapped in a codependent relationship and can form healthy adult relationships is the first thing that will help you heal. You deserve to keep it, so do. 4. Learn to be mentally and physically strong to protect yourself. To stay away from narcissists' illusions, you need to learn how to emotionally separate yourself and be spiritually disciplined. You can stop them from doing that if they want to come over and press a button for fun. You should really take care of your health if you want to beat a narcissist with style and confidence. To get the most out of them, you need to use them every day and make them into healthy habits and patterns that help you. If we aren't used to taking care of ourselves, 
It's hard to get past a narcissist's confidence and sense of style. Since we've been blamed for so long, it makes sense that we're having trouble in this area. You have full power over your future when you wake up the next morning. First, you should take care of yourself. You have to do it by yourself. If you plan to make any of these changes in the future, please let me know by making a comment below. 5. Don't feel sorry for the phony. People who like narcissists are more likely to believe the lies and nonsense they say, even if it's not their own. The worst part is that they won't understand how you feel, which will make you feel betrayed, powerless and defeated. People who are empaths can pick up on other people's bad vibes and low vibrations, even if they don't have them themselves. For people who care a lot about other people, getting a hangover is not worth the trouble. Be kind to the narcissist from a distance instead, and save your concern for yourself and other loving, kind people. 6. Talk to people you know you can trust. To get over a narcissist with confidence and grace, we need to first heal from the abuse, which means we need a strong support system. You are responsible for getting that if you don't already have it. It's very important to find people you can trust and talk to about your problems. This person could be an expert in the field or a friend, family member or cousin that you trust. But that doesn't mean we treat these people like trash cans and keep dumping our bad feelings and problems on them. Instead, you'll have a place to go when you want to be understood and accepted. I can say that you can't heal from narcissistic abuse on your own. You need to have a good support system. We'd all gain from having someone we can talk to about our worries. Find a group of people who can help you meet your emotional needs. This way, You'll be less likely to try to get those needs met by people you don't trust or who could hurt you if they know about them. Remember that you are in charge of your own health and well-being, so find good ways to get what you want. In order to do this, we depend on building and keeping up a strong support system over time. That's all I have today. Thanks for watching today. I hope you learned something from this film. Do you have any stories about being with a narcissist? Please share them in the comments part below. If you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon below the video. Thanks.